Hello and welcome to this Ventus 6.4 feature video. In this video we will give you a short overview of our new notes, improvements and changes. With this version we are introducing the new Substance integration which gives you an easy way to use your SPSAR files in Ventus and tweak them live in your project. This comes with two new nodes, the Substance Material and Loader node. If you want to be able to use and tweak textures made in Substance Designer, you need to export it as an SBSAR file and expose the parameters you need. To do this, choose the parameter you want and click this button above the property. Hit Expose, choose a custom name if you want to and hit OK. Exporting it is also quickly done by clicking on this button which will save your texture as a SBSAR file that you can easily import into Ventus via drag and drop. These before exposed parameters are displayed in the property input window and can be adjusted with these sliders. We also added the function to replace and search for missing assets. If you ever need to import a scene for another project and need to relink pictures or texture files, you can now easily do this by going into your scene statistics and search for the assets tab. The missing assets are highlighted in red. Right click on the folder above and hit replace missing assets. Search for the folder where your images are stored and click on the search folder button. This will import them into the new project. Another very practical node is now in Ventus, the Get Bounding Box node. This node can provide you with the exact dimensions of for example a dynamic text, so that you can easily frame it without the need of readjusting, because the node will change with it and give the outputs to the binded geometry. Just bind the properties you need to the axis node and the geometry. Also new is the feature for scene optimization. With that you can now let Ventus search your scene for any nodes that are not in use and delete them with one click for maximum performance. This option is also found in the scene statistics under the optimizations tab. Just click the select all button and Ventus will show you every node that is not bound or in use for anything. Lastly we added the notch LC decoder. Now you can use that codec too in Ventus. If you want to know more about Ventus 6.4, you can visit our user manual website and the release notes on ventus.com. Also you can watch our longer videos about the features on our YouTube channel, or press F1 while hovering over a note in Ventus 6. Have a nice day, goodbye.